Okay, so I was just going to do another update of uh, some of the things I found with these aux this auxiliary gearbox setup. Um, I've put probably 35 hours on this machine, maybe 30. And one of the things is when you go online, is all the people who've done this, and even the Trasco conversions, is they don't really show how the gearbox, the shift arm has to uh, be because you know people just run it straight back but that's a problem because your battery tray is there and so for a while what I did is um I had it running straight back and I had the battery side mounted and um, it well what happened is sticks and stuff get caught in the tracks or you know whatever and it would rip the tray off. Even I mean, it was this, you know, welded on and really stiff, but it didn't matter. And so what I did is I um, heated it at another point and then uh, flipped it over, <clears throat> and that gives you enough clearance so that you can mount at least an Optima or a smaller battery on there, on the you know the stock tray setup. And then one of the other things which just happened is uh, nobody really gives any details about these universal joints. Is a lot of people, you know, from the few papers that are online, just you know, say, "Well, I, I made one out of bar stock or whatnot," and it doesn't really tell you how to do it, for, and so. I guess with this setup is because this is operating in the woods and there's a lot of old slash and stuff is the flame frame flexes a lot and so I guess there's a lot of load and I think it sheared the yoke and hopefully not the spline because the way Klee track and Oliver and everything is the at least on this tractor is the, the drive shaft was pinned into the input shaft of the gearbox to, um, I guess some people cut them down and stuff, but just because of the way this tractor is, is I ended up doing it this way. This was the only way I had enough room, but I guess the geometry isn't right, and so it put up too much load on this. And so that's just something to really be aware of, because... These splines, this shaft is not, you can't find it anywhere. So you can probably rebuild it, but it's a it's a big job. I think what happened here is it just stripped the cast iron out, hopefully. So we'll have to fix that. But that's just, you know, this, you know... These are light duty machines, and they were really like with the Trasco setups and stuff. It was meant for you know spreading topsoil and stuff like in a subdivision in a tight area. It's not really meant for heavy, heavy clearing because it's just not stiff enough, it's not heavy enough either. I mean, you can clear blackberries and stuff, no problem, but if you get into the heavier, you know, stumps and stuff, forget it. And you'll you'll feel it flexing and everything. So, I I when this started shearing, when this this happened, is I thought the gears had like the first or second had failed in this transmission. And so I took the ca cap off the you know the cap off, and it was fine. And then I thought, well, maybe the counter the uh, pinion gear in in the main gearbox sheared. You know, it broke, and I guess it was this. So, uh, just to, you know, help anybody out who's uh, doing this, because you know it's it's hard to sort through just forms and all that. So this is more real world experience. So.